least, we have the wonderful, the fabulous, those kids! Woo! Oh, <laughs> 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 so we're looking at you. Can you lift it high? There's <laughs> 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 an inner Should chant these holy names. If we want to have love for Krishna, we need to chant with a mood of deep humility and tolerance. Come with me and I'll show you. <laughs> Mahaprabhu said, Chanada be Sunni Jena, Tarona be Sahishina, Amanina Mahadena, Yirtaniya Sadari. Let's take the tree for example. A tree? Why a tree? Well, <laughs> the tree gives shelter to everyone. People come and lie under it all day, and then sometimes they grab at its branches, take its fruits, yeah. flowers, leaves, but the tree never complains. The tree does not even ask for a drop of water, and it remains tolerant while people climb on it. And then, sometimes, people even come and carve their names into the tree. John loves Susie. Loves <laughs> Diane. And after a whole life of giving, they just come and, and chop it down and then take, him to, take it to be made into houses and, and books and toilet paper and... <laughs> That's the end. <laughs> so, but you see that regardless of this, the tree never protests. It is very tolerant. So if we want to do bhajan, we have to be tolerant like a tree. And also, we must be humble like a blade of grass. You see, animals are all day passing stool and urine all over the grass. <laughs> and then, <laughs> they walk and they trample on it, spitting and throwing their trash. But still, the grass remains flat in humility. The grass remains flat in humility. So, it is very important that we imbibe these moods of tolerance and humility. Otherwise, we can never develop devotion for Radha and Krishna. But what does this have to do with me? <laughs> <laughs> this is a good question. <laughs> See, this is why they say that love has everything to give, but nothing to take in return. So we should be even more humble and more tolerant than a tree, because our consciousness is higher. In this way, if we learn how to give, and not expect anything in return, and honor all living entities, then our hearts will be purified, and Krishna will come and, seat, and be seated there. And we must con always continue to chant the holy names. Take Haridas Thakur, for example. He was beaten in 22 marketplaces. 
Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. But he never gave up this. Stop this. Ram, 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 Ram. Who the hell do you think you are? I'll never stop this chanting. Well, they'll never stop beating you. Cut me a thousand pieces if you want. Let's do that. A thousand pieces if you want. Let's do that. Oh, Bhagavan. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. We're going to kill you. Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram. Ram, Ram. Got it. <laughs> so you see that even in the midst of so many obstacles, Ayyad Thakur never gave up chanting the holy names, nor did he retaliate. So you mean, Stop it. Stop it. So you mean, I hate I'm you. Kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. Otherwise, it'll never be possible for Krishna to come. It'll never be possible. Mm. You have to imbibe these moods. Because Krishna is seated within the heart of all living entities. And if you offer prayer, if you offer respect to Krishna, who is seated in the heart of all living entities, then this mood of humility will come, and you'll be able to chant the holy names purely. <coughs> So everybody, does anyone want to tell me what you learned today? I've learned that uh, Krishna is in the heart of all entities and therefore we must res give them, show them all respect. Mm -hmm. And what else? Yeah. That you should treat every living soul the, the same way. Well, okay. <laughs> but a <laughs> little different, but but good, good, good. So, shall we sing? <coughs>
Maintaining this place, and protecting and preserving, and keeping it going so that we can do things like this. Yeah. 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 Yeah.